You may have noticed a lot more people wearing face masks if you were out and about today. The CDC now recommends everyone wear a fabric mask out in public. Mariel Moe shows how you can make your own. A high endorse that uh, anything that can prevent the, the shedding of the virus is a good thing. Brad Johnson wore his face mask for the first time grocery shopping at the Whole Foods on Snelling Avenue in St. Paul. He noticed a lot of people were wearing masks inside and said the organic grocer is getting stricter on store capacity. The Whole Foods is very good. They're counting people going in. They only allow 60 people in the store. Masks were also a common sight at the Lunds and Byerleys in downtown Minneapolis. Brent Lindner and his partner wore Monster Dash 5K neck gaiters as a precaution while shopping. Better safe than sorry. On Friday, the U.S. Surgeon General put out a video that demonstrates how you can make a fabric mask using stuff you already have at home and no sewing is required. He mentioned using an old t-shirt. You can use a scarf. He also mentioned using a handkerchief. I'm going to show you how to do that. All you need is two rubber bands. So you're going to fold the handkerchief in half twice and then put a rubber band on each end of the folded handkerchief. And there you have your fabric mask. That easy. They've been kind of talking about it for the past week or so. So a couple days ago, we decided it'd be a good idea to have masks. Joseph Kaplan, the manager of the Naughty Greek in St. Paul, made PPE part of their uniform for their curbside takeout and delivery. And then between every exchange, I always change my gloves. Now, we did not see a lot of masks around the city lakes, but the CDC recommendation was not intended for outdoor exercise as long as you're social distancing. The fabric masks are encouraged to be used at grocery stores and pharmacies. In Minneapolis, Mary Mariel Mose, WCCO 4 News. The CDC encourages you to only wear fabric masks and says save the N95 and surgical masks for healthcare workers.